Took a flight to the moon. What's up, boys? I'm gonna make a new video today. I'm gonna cover the Chinese Kiana, so basically the best Kiana in the world, and he's playing jungle. So I know this guy plays mid a lot. I mean, he primarily plays mid, right? Like most of the time. But this game, I found a game where you play jungle. I'm really interested because I tried to uh, play Kiana jungle like quite a lot, and didn't really work the best for me. So I want to see how he does it. So he all, he goes for the blue uh, blue smite, which I always like to go for. And you cannot jungle, you're gonna get pretty low. So what he does is blue into smite grump, exactly like I do. So that's good so far. He only queues the grump when it's below half HP. And he resets his auto attack damage by taking different elements. So the wall and then the brush. Okay, he's fairly low. Let's see what he does. I don't think he's gonna do a wolf. I think he's just queuing them just for the healing. Yep, exactly. So he should go to the, directly to the red right now, but let's see. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So he's going to go for the red. That's to get level 3. The fast level 3. So let's see. Ah, uh, he's been played by the Ash E. That's not the best. So let's see. I'm going to put it down a bit. Like that. It's just so we can still hear the sound of the game. Oh, don't know we said nice. Okay, so he's level three, but he's really, really low, and he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any pots. So, let's see what he does. He's looking for gank mid. Is it gonna work? Let's see. He's fairly low though, but and Cassia has barrier. This is not gonna work. She has both some, so it's probably just gonna get the crab. Always take the ice if you're playing Kiana jungle because he breaks the shield of the crab. One shot. So gets the crab. Renekton I mean, gets a solo kill top lane, which is really good. He's gonna go for the rates because there's no ganking window right now. Mid is way too uh, far on the turret. Balling, it's not there. It's the same thing on the turret. So he's gonna do the rates. He's gonna smite the rates. Alright, the clear of the rates is not that bad. Really not that bad. Okay, so he's full HP now. So he might go for that. Alright, also for the runes. I'm going to put the runes on the screen. So you guys can check the runes. He, he, he runs a Dark Harvest when he's playing jungle. Okay, so he wants them to push so he can dive. Going around. Is Church going to land the hook? Whoa, that's literally in China. Oh, try to take the double kill, but Trish took one. That's not that bad. Still got a kill. And it, they, his team got two kills, which is really good. Probably complaining about the Trish right now. Taking the kill. Probably going to get the Grump here because they're pretty much doing vertical jungle right now. The I don't know who he's jungling against, but they're top side for sure. They're probably at his Grump right now, so he's going to take their Grump. This guy really likes to take the bush. Okay, probably gonna go for the walls. Oh, so it's Echo. Alright, so they're both level 4. It doesn't win this at all just because there's no mid prow and but prow, so it's going for this a bit risky. So if Echo's here, it means that his wolves are probably up. His drop is for sure gone, but his wolves are probably up. So let's see what he buys. Okay, so he doesn't buy Mobis right away. He gets this red Dirk first. That's the one thing I see this guy, even mid lane, he always does this. He always gets rid of Dirk if he can. And then he bought the boots with the remaining gold. Echo and Dragon. Clearing a little pink ward, I think. So he's invading the top side here. Looking for a gank on the volley bear. Golem should be up right now, so after he gets the kill, he could do them. Let's see. Should be a kill right now. Volibear popping the ghost for no reason. Nice, so he gets another kill right here. I wish you would show the runes like on the bottom left so we could see the damage from Dark Harvest so far. Two stacks though, so it shouldn't be that. Okay, the golems are actually not there. Okay, nice, they're respawning. Perfect. 
It's gonna steal these. They could probably chill the Valdiberry if he comes right there again to the lane. So I think that's what he's looking for. Okay, there Valdiberry is. Valdiberry is aware. Yep, wars the golems. It's, it's still really good because as you can see, he's, Valdiberry is missing all these minions under the turret. That's EXP, and EXP is really important, especially in early game. So you see, this guy's level seven. Renekton is level seven. The Valdiberry is level four. That's really good. Probably gonna go do um, his blue buff right now. Yeah, I just I know it. I'm still I still can't use my arms. That's why I'm making this video right now. It's because you know I don't need to use my arm. I just watch this guy play. So um, I should be back in like a month. Right now it's like December 21st for me. I'm filming this. This is probably gonna air early January though, maybe like January 5th or something. Um, so I'll be back around January 15 and I'll drop like only Kiana videos. I watch this guy a lot because I don't really have nothing to do except like reading and stuff. And I learned a lot. This guy is really fucking good, bro. This guy's insane. Maybe I was also doing a lot of videos on this guy. So level six now. I'm probably gonna do it for a full clear. So attack each of the rates once and take the wall so when you queue you one shot all the little chickens. Really good. The Kiana jungle is definitely not the best. Definitely better mid. 100% better mid. But look, if you don't get mid and you're queuing for jungle, you can go for it for sure. Um, the only thing though is like Kiana struggles a lot versus like farming jungles. Um, so example, Amumu, Hecarim, Kane, jungle like you know, that can clear the jungle really, really fast. Kiana's going to have a hard time because she's going to get all leveled. Oh, jumps into the dragon pit. 2v1. What is he going to do? He's probably going to up out. Exactly. Right. Upping out. He doesn't have W, so he can't steal. He doesn't have smite. Fizz not moving, though, which is kind of sad. Taking the brush, looking to go in. Cassiopeia dodging her ultimate. Oh, enemy, enemy team is all. Then a two-man ultimate going in. On the gym, one shot him. Probably gonna cheat the Cassiopeia just because she doesn't have R. She needs to dodge the Q. Perfect, he dodged it. He's waiting for his cooldown right now. He in two seconds should get the kill. Probably gonna W E Q. Oh, she has barrier. Didn't see that. She has barrier. Yikes! That's a yikes. Yep, yeah, he's paying the barrier. Honestly, I, I, I said it in the video, but I forgot she had barrier too. Finish the movie. Okay, so one thing too, if you're playing Kiana jungle, like just get movies. It's just way too good. The movie movement speed compare I mean in addition to your W movement speed when you're near like the element, you, just, you move crazy fast, it's really good. So when he gets the Sir Dirk, he normally likes to finish his boots before he finishes the mythic, just so he has a lot of movement speed, and he always goes for movies. He's probably gonna get the crab now. I wanna see the, the, the farm he has compared to the echo. Echo should have more farm because it's echo, but 54 to 54, now it's 57, so he's actually ahead of the Echo. And he's ahead in level, that's pretty crazy. Echo right here. Probably just finished his uh, check-ins. So his guns are up. Bot is looking to dive maybe, so he's gonna go over bot. Echo is probably patting bot right now. Cassiopeia, no ultimate. Fizz. Ooh, okay. Probably could have killed her though. She had full uh, conquer stack. So, also a thing with this guy, bro. This guy, yeah, I watched like a lot, right? This guy, I saw this guy testing uh, Prowler's Claw. I also did a video on Prowler's Claw. I'm probably gonna link it somewhere in the, the the top screen. I don't know if I can on YouTube. I don't know how it works, but I'm gonna try. And I also saw him tested it, and he didn't like it too. So he doesn't build it anymore. Okay, let's see. Clean drops the kill on the Echo here. Probably gonna gank mid, but by now Kasupia has R, so he's been spotted by a pink ward. So Kasupia knows he's coming. He needs to dodge the R. The R. Probably gonna E R. Uh, the R still hits her. Nothing can do about it. R for R, not that bad. Probably gonna get a lot of plays because of it, depending on if the Echo uh, is gonna sh cover mid. Okay, they want to go up to do a play on uh, Valley Bear. Really overextended there. Probably dead. Popping the ghost. 
a bit of a misplay by Renekton. Should have E'd the minion right there, so I have to have two E's. Renekton going in, using the blue smite to slow the volley bear, using the wall and wall again. Perfect, Renekton grabbing the kill. Okay, so let's see what he's going to do. Pretty sure he's going to clear the top uh, stop jungle. Going to a recall. Let's see. So like I was saying, this guy almost always go for Dust Blade. But since he's jungled, he might go for Eclipse. I don't know what he builds when he goes jungle. This is the first game I see him jungling. I didn't even check the game before, so I don't know what he's going to build. But just a common, common items this guy builds. Most of the time he builds Mobis, except he sees like versus like Rene but not Renekton, but like Twisted Fate, like heavy CC champions mid, like Twisted Fate, you know, champions like that, Lux, he's gonna build Mercs. Otherwise, he almost always goes for uh, the Mobis. I'm gonna link the runes again if you guys uh, missed them in the beginning of the video. So his team's snowballing pretty hard, especially the Renekton. Clearing the jungle. Probably gonna go for a, a clear into recall. I want to see if he gets the dust leader eclipse. I have a feeling he's gonna go for eclipse. I don't know why, but normally this guy just always go dust blade. I think it's because this guy really likes CDR. The way his play style, this guy really really likes to play with the invisibility. So I think he likes the CDR so he, because he can use it more often. Okay, he's gonna go get. The crab. <laughs> okay, let's see which medics he's gonna grab. Because you are probably roaming on the Renekton here. So he's still grabbing the dust blade. So this guy, honestly, this guy always does dust blade. And look, it depends on your play style. For me, I like Eclipse way better than dust blade. But this guy always goes for dust blade. Like when I say always, it's like 90% of games, even mid, he always goes for dust blade. I'm pretty sure it's because of the CDR. And the second item he always goes for most of the time is Umbral. Umbral Glaive, I think it's called. Umbral, Umbral something. It's the item that denies vision, and uh, you can one shot wards. That's what he likes to go for. So I think that's what he's going to go second to. Are two people in. Ash flashing. Probably still dead. Smiting queuing. That's so clean. Really, really good. Echo going and trying to grab the kill. In case I probably going to get it. Nice. That's clean. So already at five kills and five assists. Snowballing bot. Really, really hard. He's gonna stick around to get the turret. So far, this game's a roll. It's 24 to 6. Might be an early FF, might be a 15 FF, honestly. Oh, oh, rip. Oh, that was clean from trash. Dang. China, Chinese trash. Wait, Volibear overextending really, really hard. Probably going to get the kill into a flash EQ. Doesn't want to blow the flash. Going to get the ice. He's going to move faster on the ice. Doesn't want to get one shots. Waits for his cold out of bed. Probably going to grab the brush. Yep. Gonna probably jump over the wall. Yep. Volibear gonna go from the suicide. Is he gonna flash? He's not gonna flash for it. So Volibear is gonna get executed. Uh, flashing for Volibear here is just not worth. Just because Volibear is like so far behind, he's not worth any gold, right? He's one in six. Flashing for Volibear here is not worth it. I see a lot of people they do this, especially Lolilo. They flash for kills, but the the people are worth like a hundred gold. Like don't flash for people that are feeding. It's not worth it. You're not gonna get the standard 300 gold. You're gonna get less gold. So it's not worth for your, your flash for like 100 gold, right? Just something, uh, something to keep in mind. Let's. He's gonna check the red. Definitely. Okay, I think he's gonna do umbral second. That's usually what he likes to go for. So let's see. His build seems to be consistent, even if he's in the jungle. It seems to be the same as mid. The only thing that changes, oh, face checking the bush right there, getting ulted by Histopia. I can't do anything. Umbral, yep, he's looking for Umbral. Doesn't have the gold to buy it, but yeah, he's going for Umbral. Perfect. 
Normally third also what he likes to go for. It depends on the comps though, because sometimes is uh he's gonna get armor penetration, so something grudged. And then sometimes you like to go for um Edge of Night. Sometimes Edge of Night, so it really depends on the team comp. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. Goes in the jungle. Clears. Once you get items, the clear is really gonna key Anna. But be before, like especially you saw early early game, you're just low. You're so low and you can't full clear at all. Go over the wall. Just looking for a one shot and cast. There's Navar. Oh, try to R uh, Echo, but Echo reacted pretty fast actually. Fizz, absolutely one shotting Ash, showing how balanced the champion is. Goes for the Echo, one shotting him. Gonna up back outside of the wall. Pretty clean. So they're, they're getting demolished. I don't even know why no one's FFing on their enemy team. Fizz throwing Zara, not hitting. Probably gonna get the grump. Yep, gonna get the grump. We're probably gonna clear the bot wave into the crab. This guy likes the invisibility, bro. This guy always takes it. Like, I would say is seventy percent of the time takes invisibility. Fifteen percent of the time he takes the wall, and then he takes the ice. He just. Always gets invisibility. The brush, it's his favorite element by far. Uh, this Alo, by the way, I think it's Diamond 1. Um, I'm not sure. Getting CC, chain CC here, can't do anything. I'm probably gonna complete the Umbral, yep. Into, uh, yep. Gonna fast forward into, um, Edge of Night. I think the rates is the easiest count on Kiana, especially when you have items. It's really clear. So 40 ability haste, which I think is about 30% CDR. Not sure though. <coughs> Trash flash hooking. Completely missing. They're trying to go for the end right now. 20 minutes. With the arrow. The arrow dropped. Trash landing the hood. He's getting Ash arrow. He can't move. They don't have any minions, so they probably can't end Trash landing yet another hook. Kaysai going in, getting slowed by Ash. Renekton flashing in, getting EE on the Kasupia, getting her low enough. Fizz landing the fish. Fizz looking to go in, uh, looking to one shot the Ash. Flashing in, Aring, sniping the Kasupia, getting another kill on Echo. This guy is absolutely crazy. That was, that was, that was good. That was pretty good. Jin flashing out. So they're probably looking for a win here. And then at 20 minutes, that game was crazy fast. Uh, they, and they finally FF'd. So I guess that was the jungle, the best kind of in the world playing jungle. Um, I wish he would show the damage that Dustblade did and the rune Dark Harvest. Let's see if he shows it. This guy never honors anyone, so I, I thought he's yeah, going to skip. Let's see. I think he's going to show the damage. Okay, so I think this is uh, Diamond 2. Doesn't show the damage. All right. So that's it for the video, guys. Um, I'll keep dropping more review of this guy, especially because I can't use my arms. Um, I'm going to do mid next for sure. I actually wanted to do jungle because I think it's pretty interesting. I think Kiana is very niche in the jungle. Uh, she's definitely not the best. Um, so I would really not consider her good. I think she's pretty bad. But it depends on the comps and who you're versing in the jungle. Like I said, don't pick it into Hecarim, Amumu, Kane. These jungles that farm really well and they're really healthy in the jungle, you're going to lose 100%. And you're going to get outscale. So that's for video, boys. Thank you for watching. Just drop a like if you like these type of videos, this type of review. If you want me to do more uh, rank one kind of review. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.